Now I'd like to introduce Jarvan Chinfeng Shi. Jarvan's the founding director of the Probabilistic Graphical Model Group and director in advanced reasoning and learning of the Australian Institute for Machine Learning at the University of Adelaide. Jarvan has transferred his AI research to many domains, including mining, agriculture, sport, manufacturing, health, education, and other areas. Recently, Jarvan was the lead and founder of Deep Sight X, the team that won second prize in the Oz Minerals Explorer Challenge, bringing artificial intelligence to the challenge of mineral exploration. Jarvan will discuss some of the principles behind AI and how he and his team applied this to the Oz Minerals Challenge. Please welcome Jarvan. Um, so, uh, I believe most people here know more about mining than myself. So, if you want to learn a lot more about mining, I can refer you to our dear friend and domain expert, uh, John Anderson, sitting there. And he's the one that our AI absorb his knowledge to AI and learn from big data. Um, today, I'm going to talk more about what AI can do, right? and of course, highlight our result and approach in the uh, uh, Explorer Challenge. So um, we are DeepSide X, but also we are from AMO. So uh, AMO is Australia Institute of Machine Learning. Uh, within um, DeepSide X, there are half of them are from uh, external. Um, so, uh, but within AMO, we have 120 people, uh, and we're still growing. Uh, we are jointly funded by the University of Adelaide and also state government. Um, so we have a lot of expertise in deep learning, graph models, um, reasoning. We have been winning a lot of global competitions, um, so the Explore uh, Challenge is one of them. So, um, so today I will mostly highlight the Explore Challenge and the uh, uh, competition we won uh, in car industry. So uh, we are number one in Australia for AI, machine learning, um, and computer vision, and we are globally top three uh, for computer vision. So um, CMU is the one, always been number one, so hard to beat. Uh, but instead we collaborate. So. Um, what separates us from a typical university group is that we, we are very good at with publication, but also we can deliver. So um, this is a medical device we developed with a, a local listed company called LBT. Um, that's the first in its class uh, get FDA approval, now it's stage two approval. Took us a, a year to develop that technology uh, and took us five years to get FDA approval. Um, the reason is that, um, say, the human accuracy for that, so that device does two things. One is to tell you what disease you have you got. Second is to tell you what uh, antibiotics that most uh, work for you. Um, human accuracy is about um, 98.5 maybe, and uh, uh, our AI accuracy is more than 99. So FDA struggled to, to believe, oh, how could you be a human? So it took five years to convince them. Um, so, but once once get up, right, the, uh, the company's share price jumped by 500%. Um, and we've also been number one in uh, visual question answering. That's, that's an AI that you can ask AI any questions, open questions about a picture or, or um, a video. So, for example, you can tell, ask AI whether the umbrella is facing up or down, and uh, is that baby, where is the baby sitting on? So it could be on the fridge or it can be on your arm, right? Um, we also, we won uh, Amazon Picking Challenge. Um, from that, um, so two startup companies that took our technology and got a 10 mil investment each. Right? We like to help people, right? If you have great ideas, we can help you too. Um, this is, uh, please click, click that video. So this is the uh, ben driverless car benchmark called the Cityscape, organized by the uh, parent company of Mercedes-Benz, Daimler, um, data from 50 European cities. So to tell to every pixel what's the, what's the object. So different objects have different colors, you can see, and in real time, right? So then another startup company took that technology, get 10 million investment again. So we just like go trees, right? So I hope you guys can, can really flourish. This is another recent win we, we, we had um, from Volkswagen. Um, we, sh we showed them that how AI can transfer car industry. Uh, and they told us, oh, they looked for something like that for 10 years, they couldn't find it. And, uh, and we said, oh, you're right. It didn't exist until we made it, we, we invented it. Uh, I'll show you a bit more later. Um, and this is the reason why we are here today. So we, we won the second prize. 
uh, for the Explorer Challenge, and we learned a lot from it. So it's three months uh, quick uh, competition. Uh, in the first one and a half months, we have to make the first submission for the data stream, um, and then, then another one and a half months for the final submission. And, and huge thank you to John, right? He's the one that made everything happen because we didn't know anything about mining before, right? But again, that we showed that with three months that uh, we come from zero to exceptional, right? So, and we, um, we also, we did that for the car industry as well and for medical co competition. So we won three of them without any medical background. That just shows the power of AI. So uh, sometimes, well, some people told me that, oh, maybe that's the that's a, a blessing. You don't know much about this field, so you can be more creative. So, um, well, you can work with us, right? Or we can work with you. So, um, so this is some, some nice photos that we had in that uh, <laughs> ceremony. Plenty of uh, well, uh, so trophies, right? And drink, right? Um, so this is the data we get from um, Alice Minerals, right? So, so typically 19 channels, and I guess everyone knows, right? Um, and, and we also have geo data. So we learn, we build AI to learn mapping from all the input 19 channels. Um, you can stack them together as a tensor. It's like a stack of cards, right? It's called tensor in, in math. And then to predict uh, where are the minerals and uh, what's the probability. And uh, um, so, so here's the, uh, the next page we can show you. So that's the, one of the newer net networks we use. So if you stack all the input to 19 different channels, and in some cases you only have 18 or 17 channels, doesn't matter, that's okay. And then we can predict uh, in, on each five kilo by five kilo um, tile, what are the minerals underneath? Uh, and also we can tell you uh, where are they within that tile. Um, we can also, we deal one step further, is to predict, um, to create, because you have drill holes, right? Drill holes are expensive to drill and very, very sparse. So our AI can create like virtual, uh, virtual drill holes to tell you what's, what if you drilled, what's it going to like. So um, we have technology for that. It's not perfect yet. Um, and it's not really compulsory in that submission, but we, that's uh, our attempt. Um, so, and also our AI can absorb um, domain um, expertise. Uh, for example, when we predict uh, some, um, say, IOCG uh, deposit, our John look at it saying, oh, that's rubbish. I don't believe it. It's not going to happen. And that goes fits back to the AI and improved prediction. And sometimes it, it happens. We predict something. John says, that's interesting. I wouldn't have thought. Right? But now looking closer, um, yeah, I believe most of other colleagues would miss that too. But now you point it out. It's likely. It's possible. Um, also, sometimes we predict that uh, John just agrees completely. So all that feeds back to the AI, improves the AI. And also, AI learn from the data as well. So Because AI can basically see a lot more patterns. Um, most of human experts look at maybe gravity or other, a few channels. But AI can basically check all channels and learn um, the priorities, importance of all channels, and even each pixel as well, to see for one prediction which pixel makes more uh, contribution to that. Um, AI can do can help uh, can do a lot more. So if you can click, uh, the first, so it can help retail. So tell you, you analyze customer behaviors. Uh, and that's the second video as well. So click, and also see uh, whether you're short of stock. You should do stocking a bit more. Um, so AI can also uh, detect objects. Um, so the, um, so detect everyone can, on campus. Uh, this may look easy, right? But if you click second video. Uh, we can also detect, so the second video, could you please play? Just the, the black video, that, that, that one. So this in here, um, we detect the, uh, all the particles, and each one is smaller than a cell. Um, if, so this is how we detect our result. Um, if we zoom in, we can see how hard it is. Right? With my naked human eyes, I can't really tell the difference. But they all look the same but I, my algorithm can. So this actually tells us sometimes even when human can't do the job, AI perhaps can. Right? Um, our AI can, can make predictions, um, uh, recognition now, and predict the future as well, for example, for stock market. So a few years ago, uh, JP Morgan approached us saying they believe uh, machine learning is the one that um, helped his com um, competitors <laughs> uh, win, right? Um, so ask us whether we can do something about it. And we said, well, we've tried, and we did. So our prediction for the trend of stock market is better than JP Morgan now. 
we are still not very good at the trading strategy, so we're not making much money. Um, so we also use AI to, to help uh, growers for in, in the viticulture and, and green industry. So um, this one, if we click the middle video, so that's one detect the grip barriers in real time. We can also detect the, um, the uh, leaf area index and predict the yield and detect the inflorescences. So there's a bonding box on the right corner bottle. You can see those inflorescences. Um, and that actually has a strong link to the final yield. Um, we also get three GRDC grants up. Um, so this one, we use AI to help our car industry. So if you click the first video, um, so there, uh, our AI, so the older way was a Japanese way. So they have a human supervisor to look at the workers and use a timer to time them and say, oh, you're too slow, right? this step, too slow, too slow. And everyone has a speaker on their back, right? So you've been too slow. Yeah, that's real. I, I, I didn't believe it. Um, so now just, now we're doing this, this AI way, or kind of a German way, because the Germans, uh, what Wagen is uh, doing with us. Um, so use AI to automatically monitor everyone and also to, to tell you if you, so if someone automatically segment your activity, so in this case, you have three, uh, four steps. So that work is basically drilling four screws to the uh, car part. Um, so if you're doing too slow over time, the flag is red. Uh, if you waste your time not doing anything useful, that's a um, yellow bar, so it's an idle time. If you're doing the early wedding time, and um, that's blue. But if the blue is over, the time limit will become red. Sometimes, right, so it can automatically compute the uh, cycle time or the standard time. But it, what is more important is sometimes it's not really something wrong with your workers, but it's maybe the, the procedure you design is not good. So the AI can also tell you how to improve that procedure so everyone gets more productive, but also more comfortable. Um, and the bottom three videos is that you can see the tiny ones, right? Those are the AI detect their skeletons, um, their segments, and, and motion. So that's how, how we can segment and detect uh, the human activity. If we click the, the second video, so that's the, I think it's already running, isn't it? Yeah, so that's the digital factory. Uh, we can do safety as well. So if someone, green is good. So green is someone being good boy, so using the zebra line and double yellow line, right? Uh, red would be bad, so you can detect the red if someone being naughty, so you will, you will see, right? Always some people being naughty, right? Um, so, so you see that person is not using the double yellow line and not using the zebra line, right? Um, and there's two more, right? You, could, you get to see. Um, so one is outside of the lens, but the one in the middle was wearing short. You're not supposed to wear short in, in the factory. So you can also add the requirement to the helmet if you want to always wear the safety helmet. You can make that happen. Um, our AI also detects um, uh, the crate, the box, and, uh, and the forklifter. Um, so now what's working wants us to cut one step from the factory because at the moment they, um, the forklifter uh, pick up something from the truck and put it on the ground and then use human to use a handheld device to scan all the boxes. If they are all right, then the forklift will have to lift them up again and send to the next, decimate, next stop. But then what we're going to say, well, if you can do this, if you can detect them, can you scan them with the forklifter? Put a camera in there so we don't have to use a human to scan it. So we basically, once we scan a box, we just send to the next stop. So we cut one step in the factory and that's a big thing for them. So we said, oh yeah, it's easy, <laughs> not hard for us. And so that's the, also the picture you can see, that's the, that's the, the picture of that golden prize. So just to show you, we, do get, we did get that prize, right? Um, and those are the German uh, executives uh, from, from Germany. Um, and then Australia Institute of Sport heard us. I right? say, oh, you guys are doing amazing things in AI. Can you help us to win more medals? We say, well, we can try, right? So if you can play the left button video, so that's the rugby. So um, at the moment, Australians, they, they put GPS on players. But overseas players, teams, they don't wear your GPS. And your GPS is not allowed if you compete overseas. And we showed them, well, with cameras, you can track everything. You don't need the GPS. So they were amazed. Oh, wow, that can happen. Um, we also, on the top, on the table tennis one, if you can play the table tennis one, we, we detect the... Uh, so, um, so there's, um, there's a number one in, um, in, in disabled person table tennis. Uh, what number one, who is not Australian, which is what AIS want to beat. <laughs> and he has two styles. One is once he entered a dominant style, no one can beat him. He will certainly win. Um, and AIS want us to detect when he's going to switch to that dominant st step 
and then maybe they call a stop or something. I don't know. Just, just stop. <laughs> and then he has another style discovered recently that he was winning, right? But then he suddenly lost, lost confidence. So AIS wants to know, oh, how, do, how can we know how old trap him to, to the, the, the second style? So I don't know. Uh, we want to help, right? Not always do something like that, but um, there's maybe other ways we can help them. And just if the second video down below is the fencing, so that's from Japan. So it detects skeletons and then so to, um, to tell you um, how, to, how to beat a component, uh, opponent. Right? Um, there's some, some nice uh, visual effect. We can also play the bottom one together as well. So the bottom one is the um, uh, wet, wet chair. Which uh, rugby, so we can detect everyone and then also detect the key events. Okay, so so far, so we have done applications in many domains, right? So, we, um, but we did that in the past in silos in different diverse industries. Um, this time, uh, we 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 we're trying to uh, unite people and to to do it together to break the barriers, cross industry, cross states. Um, so we're now we're teaming up with about 10 universities, um, 30 in, uh, industry companies. So we are leading a CSA bid called uh, AI for Regions. So, um, so this is the incomplete list of partners that we have or people, companies that showed interest. And there's about 20 more companies we haven't put in yet there. That was the list from a month ago. Um, and here are the list of universities who are interested to, to join us. So maybe, right, some people in this room can join us as well. So I, can, I see mining or resources is a, is a big part of the regional Australia. You know what? Um, regional Australia um, has about one third of the Australia's population. But export is about 76% export come from regional Australia. So um, it's a big potential to unlock right, the values and, uh, in regional Australia and to help families and industries in those areas. Right? And if you... And you may ask, oh, what's really a regional Australia? Well, according to the immigration department, uh, Adelaide is regional, right? So, yeah, <laughs> but it's fine, right? So, um, and uh, well, well, there are other uh, places. We had one workshop last, uh, last month uh, in, in Adelaide. Uh, we had a second workshop in Port Piri, where I guess no one would argue that Port Piri uh, is a regional or not. Um, we're going to have a third workshop in Melbourne uh, next week, um, and then we'll have a few more, um, maybe one more uh, in Sydney, and uh, a, a quite a few more next year. So uh, we really, well, I think we are um, a bunch of people that, um, so through talent and hard work that get to the point that where we are, and to the point that we can help people, and we should. So the CSA is one of the ways that we want to give back to the society, to communities that can benefit. The technology advancement doesn't necessarily help everyone. So sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it drives the digital divide and AI divide. So um, we, we, we can't imagine or think that uh, technology will just be granted and to help you automatically if you don't pay attention, if you don't develop things in the context right, or have a clear goal. So, and this is why we're doing this CRSA. So hopefully, right, um, you can talk to your friends or people and maybe you can join this mission. Thank you very much.